This is the new young face of fentanyl addiction, before and after. 22-year-old Katie Mather, forehead and chin clawed open by her own fingernails because the use of fentanyl makes her skin crawl. I spot her on the strip, Surrey's infamous drug hangout, and ask if she'll talk to me. She puts cover-up on her raw skin. So I'm literally just doing my mascara and I'm good to go. Katie settles in to tell her story. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. How she ended up living on the street three months ago, addicted to fentanyl. Well, I've been using, it's actually funny, well, not funny, it's terrible. I have a really addictive personality. I've always been, like, addicted to something, whether it was shopping or, or Facebook or whatever. And um, I did an oxy. I got addicted right away. And then I got, a, I finally, like, I found a regular dealer and I started picking up all the time. I remember the day the fentanyl came out and my dealer said, you know, I've got these new pills, they're fake oxys. He didn't tell me they were fentanyl because nobody knew what fentanyl was yet. He just said they're a hundred times stronger and they're only five dollars more. And I was just like, okay, because I, you know, I was getting a pretty high tolerance at this point. Oxys, Oxycontin, led to fake 80s, fentanyl posing as Oxycontin. Immediately, Katie wanted nothing else. I could buy one of these fake 80s, put them into four lines, and two lines would last me a full day. That's how strong it was. And if I did a full pill, I would OD. Katie says she's overdosed 11 times, most recently a few days ago, brought back by paramedics or friends on the strip who have naloxone, the powerful opioid antidote. Every time I do dope, I know I'm taking a risk. I know that I, I might die, but like, it doesn't matter how many times I've OD'd, I still use the next day because the withdrawals are so bad. Katie has been in the news before. She and her sister attacked by a Rottweiler cross back in December. Katie was badly hurt and spent time in hospital. She says that cemented her addiction to fentanyl. As she talks, blood starts to seep through her makeup. Katie, you're 22. Why would you risk this? Well, at first it was just fun, right? It was just for fun. It was just a party drug that, you know, like... And there's been some things that I've gone through and it helped with a lot of pain. And especially after, you know, that dog attack, I, I just couldn't stop, you know? I asked Katie if she worries about herself and her future. Sometimes, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I just like to take things at one day at a time, right? I'll kind of just go with it and hopefully, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> for now, the best Katie can hope for is to wake up from her next fix of fentanyl. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Surrey. I'm San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore. What you're about to see is traumatic body-worn camera footage involving one of our deputies who was exposed to fentanyl during his patrol shift. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not gonna let you die. It's okay, just focus on your breathing, okay? Focus on it. I need Narcan! I'm Corporal Scott Crane from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. My trainee was exposed to fentanyl and nearly died. It was our first radio call of the day, and this was uh, Deputy Five Eyes radio call. He found a white substance that he suspected was drugs. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it's, it's a powder. Um, it could be cocaine or fentanyl. It tested together. positive yeah. for fentanyl. That stuff's no joke, dude. It's super dangerous. I was like, hey, dude, too close. You can't get that close to it. A couple seconds later, he took some steps back and he collapsed. I ran over to him and I grabbed him and he was Odin. And I went to my trunk, grabbed the Narcan, came down to him, grabbed him, and I, I did one nasal spray in one nostril, opened the other one, another nasal spray in the other one. I remember just not feeling right and then I fall back. And uh, I just, I, I don't remember anything after that. Just breathe, buddy. Breathe. Trying to get him to focus on, on just breathing. And because, you know, that fentanyl, you, you can't breathe. It was in an instant. It's as though you like my lungs just locked up. I, I, I couldn't breathe. I was trying to gasp for breath, but I, I couldn't breathe at all. Five, are you okay? Talk to me. 
sorry. Oh, no, no. Don't be sorry. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not gonna let you die. I need Narcan! I got you. I got you. I'm trying to not let him go. Like, I'm just, I wanted him to know he wasn't alone. It's an invisible yeah. killer. He would have died in that parking lot if he was alone. Fire department got there, put him on the gurney. His eyes rolled back in his head, and he started to OD again. And he was ODing the whole way to the hospital. I don't think people realize the severity of just how deadly it really is. I'm Deputy David Fiveye, and I almost died of fentanyl overdose. One of the greatest threats we currently face is a synthetic opioid fentanyl, which is 50 times more potent than heroin. Fentanyl overdoses are on the rise throughout our county. Every day, deputies recover fentanyl in our communities, and the county jails are not immune either to the dangers of this drug. Every week, sheriff's deputies intercept fentanyl entering our facilities. When inmates overdose on fentanyl, smuggled into our jails, deputies and nurses are saving dozens of lives every month by administering naloxone, a medicine used to rapidly reverse the effects of the overdose. Fentanyl deaths in California have increased almost 46% in just the last year. Being exposed to just a few small grains of fentanyl could have deadly consequences. The dangers of fentanyl are real, and this drug is killing our communities. Please take the time to share this video. It might save the life of your son, daughter, friend, or a loved one.